Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Code Pipeline, which is a fully managed CI CD pipeline to set up automatic deployments. All right, so let's look at the anatomy of a code pipeline. So here I have a technical architecture that has all the components. And starting at the top, we're going to look at the pipeline itself. And this is what encompasses all the components. Then you have stage. And so we have multiple stages, and they represent a step in the pipeline. The most common setup would be source, build, and deploy. When you first set up code pipeline, they force you to set up these three stages. Uh, but after that, you can set up as many stages as you like. So there's a lot of creativity here. Uh, you don't have to be limited to those three. Uh, then you have action groups, which uh, group together several actions. And then you have actions, and this does something. It can pull code or build and run tests, deploy uh, code to production, invoke a Lambda, invoke CloudFormation templates, a lot of things you can do there. Then you have artifacts, and artifacts are just zips that contain uh, files that were outputted by an action, uh, and they're generally stored in S3. Uh, so an artifact can be passed uh, to future actions, uh, an act, and they can be referenced anywhere in, uh, in the future stage. So something that was outputted in the build could be accessed in the deploy. It doesn't have to go from step to step. Um, but uh, you know, some, some actions require an input from an artifact or maybe a source, uh, and generally they have an optional output for an artifact. So you don't have to output one, but you, you definitely can. Uh, and the last thing are stage transitions. And this is what links uh, the, the stages of a pipeline to the next one. So those are all our components. So let's move forward.